question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift, shifting shifting sands in the region. Do you think relations with the north may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the um, pardon me. That's quite pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> What was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. Now to the story of a pig that is inspiring others. One pot, <laughs> one pot belly pig has certainly endured his share of problems. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, you have to read this story. <laughs> we cannot. Oh my God. <laughs> F the way. Ja, F van Frans. Van maar Frederik. Wel, uh, ja, Frederik. Uh, fuck you. Nee, nee, nee. Oh nee, maar dat... Oh. Dat je toch... Oh. Ja, ik zie het op de dan moet ik al lang. Hij klinkt wel naar eentje, joh. Ja. Ik ken die hand zo wel lekker. First, let's send it over to Mike Rizzo, who has a look. Oh, look at Lady, Li Lady Liberty. Liberty. Sorry. <laughs> Gianna and I clearly just had a moment. <laughs> How's, How's the weather, Mike? <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Okay. <laughs> what? Central Liberty, the swing. Oh, no. <laughs> 83 degrees to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 67 in Bedford Park. We're going to see the temperatures in the upper 60s this morning. A sticky situation at an airport in Tennessee after baggage was sprayed with raw sewage. Sprayed? I know. Well, Soil is one of those words. There's yeah. no way to say it. It just no. yeah, sounds like a yeah. chunky moisture. Oh. <laughs> it's just it's the two, ah. it's the two words. Yeah. 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 Corn? No. How'd that get on my bag? Okay, too far. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Just wait, wait, wait. This just it. We're on TV. We're on TV. There are people watching. We're not in a private area. Just FYI. Oh my gosh. Well, more bodily functions in the news this morning. The next time you pass gas, make sure no police are around. A man in West Virginia faces assault charges after police say he passed gas in fantasy. The officer, I mean, don't laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> After the man was already arrested for DUI, <laughs> according to police reports of St. Cruz, I can't even get through this. <laughs> he passed the gas so loudly, the officer said it was, quote, very odorous <laughs> and created... <laughs> And created contact of an insulting or provoking nature. Mr. Anchorman. See, that wasn't even right. That was, to put that story in there was wrong. That was wrong, right? I didn't see it when I was looking through the script. He stuck that in there. Very odorous. I'm so pale. You're on it. Today's snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. DD Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry, Mangudu. Once it's turned on, the sign will spell out Delhi Cat Essen. Can you demonstrate for us what it's like to brush our teeth, pet, just a little bit? Certainly. It's going to be areas of drist and mizzle. Uh, drist and what am I saying here? Mist and drizzle. I literally combined both. Here's some other great town names. Litits. Oh, it's Linnets. Linnets. <laughs> <laughs>
is confirming the ground is now good to say, oh, you've been joined by a beautiful lady. It's a man, actually, Derek. Who's I just kept hearing it. I'm ducking and everything, dying just in the house. I'm, I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. Let's get excited about that 69. I mean, yeah. that's pretty good this time of year, isn't it? I, I know you're excited about the wind, but no, I want that 69. Over the last two years, hundreds have landed in the Summit County Medical Examiner's Office. My brother used to break in our house and steal the TV. But now he's dead. We'll probably sit around and cook some soups and eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. Wow. Uh, you like the, uh, um... A slight chance of some particip participation? Participate? Per... Per... It's rain. It's going to bring a possibility of some rain that will be moving into our area. Um, did you grab anything when you walked out the door? I grabbed nothing but two Tortino's pizza out of the refrigerator and my doggie, and we left. That's it. I, I tried to grab some other things, but they wasn't even worth it. I had to do it. That's why I don't hold it. What's it's okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm going to stay over here by Joni. Do they know each other? No, hold him tight. Hold I, him tight. Hold I, him tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Got him. I am. That's oh, okay. All right. All right, Joni, you got it. <laughs> um, first and last name, please. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And can you spell first and last? F I R S T L A S T. <laughs> I met your first and last name. <laughs> Well, the sign says that it's four quarters for an hour, but a quarter only gets you 15 minutes. Yeah. So if my math is correct, that's not an hour. That's not an hour, not an but hour. it is. <laughs> and also... A quarter to 15 <gasps> minutes. Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 9 a.m. Time once again to get you caught up on your news headlines. For that, the Hamburglar. <laughs> it's your birthday. I let it pass. No, I won't. I'll get you later. And England skipper Andrew Strauss arrived in London proudly showing off the little urn. They'll spend four days at home before flying out for the World Cup. And Belinda, I just can't understand how something so small can be so impressive. Well, Mark, you would know about that. Thank you very much. I'm Scott Mattis, live in Hernando, Mississippi, where there has been spottings of a cougar, and that's not it. That looks like a house cat, uh, but we're just feet away from where a local man rolled his cell phone video on what some say is a cougar. I'll be right back with a live report. But what we can say is that it looks for him in Uxbridge, also something uh, that where there may be some concern. He had a 12,000 majority 12, here. 12,000! It's now down to 5,000. 5, Some people think it won't happen again. It won't happen again! Thanks it very won't. much, Tim. Lots of people trying to get in on the act there. Well, the best part is, you know, the guy that comes in and goes, oh, let me buy lunch today. You know, yeah. those guys... Yeah, are yeah, those. Let, me, let me get right, it. Right, I got it. it. It's a two ninety nine burger. I'll buy lunch. But... OK, well, I don't mean to interrupt, yeah. but there's, can I try one of these? Courtney, I would love to see my meat in your mouth. So I've got a burger ready to go it's for you. It's first time I've heard that! Hello and welcome. Also on Chef was Constance Landry. She says she's lived here her entire life, almost 80 years, been through just about everything. I know 80 years old. Well, just about. I'm sorry, Miss Constance. 76 to be exact. No, 75. 75. Are you coming back to New Orleans and New Orleans East? Is the elephant heavy? I'm coming back, baby. The roads in Susquehanna County have people effed up. Uh, fed up. Sorry, PennDOT held a forum tonight for residents to explain what's next. Fox 56's Victoria Halicard joins us live in Montrose to explain how much longer drivers have to wait. Victoria. Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pantries. <laughs> I couldn't warn you before I saw it, and I couldn't warn you, Eric. I'm just so 
about 175,000 rice and smoke cookers are being recalled due to fire and electric shock hazards. Police was trying to do a stop point. The man said, no, not today. And they began to race behind each other like cats and dogs. And the police car just twisted around like a tornado girl. And the Lord just shook it up, and the man just got injured. His head went to one side, and his body went to the other side. And girl, he hit the pole. I was actually going to buy me a piece of um, burger from Burger King. And I just stopped right in the middle because my hunger just went away. As the adage says, you give a poor man a fish, and you feed him for a day. You teach him to, f to fish. You give him, you give him, and, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, Mike, so are we gonna have some barbecue weather or? Uh... You're gonna have some wet meat out there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's actually disgusting. You know what? Just wow. Oh, that's gross. Please that thing that says hyperlocal <laughs> forecast now. <laughs> Perfect. Dry so non wet meat weekend. No wet meat on dry Friday. Dry meat. Ooh, I love those days. <laughs> love some dry meat. Love right. dry meat. And Hugh Janus turning 10. We had mentioned. I'm sorry. What? What? I'm sorry. It's it's one of those it's one of those. Oh, <laughs> I, I totally felt more in that. I think it was a trick. I think it was. I think you're right. I think it was a trick name. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it's one of those. <laughs> Shout out. Who asked for it? I, I'm gonna go was back it, and look. Was it you? <laughs> Who asked for it? I'll have to go back and look. Maybe it's legit and I have a sick mind, but that's the way it came but, across. Uh, hopefully, there's not a 10 year old really with that name out there who. Uh, <laughs> wow. There's, apparently, they're the most popular creatures right now this oh, time of year. That, beaver that, breeding. Those little guys are cute and cuddly looking, and the beavers I've seen are bigger. And uh, not. Yeah, and, and they don't look as friendly. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I've seen my beavers in the wrong place. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, it's weather time. Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah, this afternoon, not too bad. Uh, uh, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Let's go to the maps. There we go. 56 this afternoon in Tulsa, 62 down toward uh, McAllister. Uh, the next seven days looks pretty rainy uh, for Saturday. Another good chance of rain on Monday. Cold gear uh, for Saturday. You couldn't just take it with weather. <laughs> I can't see him. Anyway, crying. anyway, well today, <laughs> today therapy dogs will be sworn in at the Rogers County Courthouse. They will. We will let you know how they will work to help crime victims and children inside courtrooms. <laughs> Chipotle trying to help you be a better you out there. Okay. New bowls. It's got new bowls that accommodates popular diets. There's a keto bowl, paleo bowl. Whole 30 diet bowls. They all have big rules about what you can eat. Oh, you mean those like the tortillas that they make when you order a bowl and our burrito? Is that what you're talking about? No, you can get a bowl at Chipotle. Just in a little bowl. And the certain ingredients <laughs> go to a certain diet. I do not know this. I mean, I do, but I'm so confused about what you're talking about right now. They're offering paleo diet friendly bowls. It has nothing to do with burritos. <laughs> Just the stuff that's inside there. But why would you eat the bowl? You don't eat the in when you have cereal, do you eat the bowl as well? So what does it matter if it's paleo or not? It's what's in the it's the ingredients. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the, ch the chicken, the lettuce, those things. <laughs> what's our weather? <laughs> Okay. A British man who took on a goat's eye view of the world has been rewarded for his efforts. Because we're all completely trapped inside our own brain and our own perception of the world. I can't make this stuff up. Thomas Thwaites had a set of prosthetic legs built and spent three days living among goats in the Alps. He did it because he, he wanted a simpler life. 
And he says it was fascinating. A little bizarre, though. The Waits co-won an IG Nobel Prize for Biology with another man who tried living as several different animals. <laughs> on a research that may seem bizarre <laughs> or amusing, but actually provokes thought. Kevin <laughs> Don't watch the video. Are you trying to read that script? <laughs> I need a Kleenex. <laughs> you guys. A Russian peasant gave birth naturally to no six, drugs. No drugs at all. 16 sets of twins, seven sets of triplets, wow. and four sets of quadruplets. Hey, How is that even possible? It's crazy. Uh, well, we've already explained the cow chip to you this morning, <laughs> so I don't want to, have to explain anything that's more. True, we'll just, that's just true. That's Just leave it at that. She's got quite the uterus. We'll just say that much. <laughs> <laughs> Satellite radar shot this morning. <laughs> You're just saying, I know you, you, you I can't believe you said that. <laughs> All right, satellite radar. <laughs> Clear skies, 73. That's what her husband said to you. <laughs> 73. 92, such a hot human. We got to get serious because we got the news to do. Back. <laughs> Natalie? <laughs> oh, my. All right. A family's Christmas decorations nearly caused one man a heart attack. Please hold on. All right. Can you reach it? Can you reach it? The man in Austin, Texas <laughs> thought this dummy was a real person. <laughs> Nest Cam video shows the man <laughs> rush over, <laughs> grab a ladder, and call for help. He even called 911. The family, and the family put up the dummy to pay homage to a, a, a Christmas scene from uh, from a movie right there. The Griswolds, you right? You know, Christmas vacation. <laughs> and uh, they are trying to find the man to give him a gift because they say <laughs> it, his heart was in the right place. Now, he felt it. Oh, he no. Felt it. He, said, he, said, he said, can you reach it? Can you reach it? It's got to be a good Samaritan there. It's making me cry, my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want him around if you were stuck on the roof one day. Can you reach it? All right, well, we are... Hoping to reach temperatures like we saw yesterday. It was nice and warm spring like yesterday. Let's check in with meteorologist Karen Mitten in Severe Weather Center, too. Karen. This is great. I love it. Oh, we need more of that laughter. That's great. That guy was wonderful. <laughs> The story is really hilarious to Jessica. I'm sorry, we were uh, watching our friend Ellen DeGeneres. Our um, good friend. Our good Shout friend. Ellen, all the time. In a commercial break. She was talking about aspirin, and it's hilarious. A uh, Valentine's Day is just over a month away. And if hey. you're looking for a getaway, you don't have to go far. You don't have to go far for this. Datingadvice.com released their list of the top 10 most romantic cities in North America. Just so you know, Ellen's new special on Netflix, Relatable is hilarious. And is that is, where this is coming from? That's where this is coming from, and it is very relatable. Okay. Shout out to Ellen. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, as you prepare breakfast this morning, grab those milk cartons. <laughs> Today is National Milk Day, a day I'm sure you have been looking forward to celebrating. <laughs> milk, oh, what are we going to describe? The script says to describe what milk is used for. So here we go. <laughs> Milk can be in numerous things like cereal, baking, a beverage. <laughs> you can just drink it. Oh my god. I'm pointing to the encyclopedia. Pasteurization began in the use encyclopedias. Oh my god. Milk used to be pasteurized and started in the 1860s. That's when they remove harmful bacteria from the milk. Where does it come from? A French chemist and biologist, Louis Pasteur. <laughs> and don't worry if you can't celebrate. You got another chance in six months because 
that's world milk day. <laughs> Some scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments, and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. man also told police others in the room laughed understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. <laughs> Home Depot says they will not be pressing charges. But I can tell you right now, you asked the producer for me to read that, didn't you? <laughs> to Ethan now, please. No. <laughs> Are we going to have to go to a commercial? No, break? we're going to get it. Okay. We're going to get it. <laughs> All right, we're, we can do this. <clears throat> All right. Uh, turning now to an impassioned plea in a string of thefts. Uh, police are searching for several thieves believed to have stolen a 400-year-old bonsai tree. <laughs> the missing tree seen here st <laughs> stands about three feet uh, tall and two and a half feet wide. <laughs> With more than 400 points and branches. It is... It is... <laughs> oh, man. It is green with a brownish curved trunk that tilts a bit to the side, as you can see. <laughs> the, the owners of the tree, fifth-generation bonsai masters, would like to send a message uh, to the tree. Quote, are you at least getting enough water? End quote. The owners say they've raised this tree as their own child and they are desperate to have it home. It's estimated to be worth about $90,000. This is a did <laughs> did <laughs> You say that. That takes talent. Yeah, right there. Not just any newscaster can pull that off. <laughs> Handle out the pumpkin. I thought it smells. I dirty. thought something was smoking. I do see the smoke coming up. Yeah, what happened just, just now? Well, no, because it, it's resting on some paper, and so I didn't want the little tea light to overheat, and then all of a sudden we've got breaking news here at the channel. I told you, if the sprinkler system's come well, I'm done for the day. Yeah, there you go. That is <laughs> not... Sitting up here looking like not, a mop. Yeah, you don't, you don't want sprinkler <laughs> system and a beautiful weave, because they do not go together. Ah! Oh! Oh! Wow, you're beautiful. <laughs> you said it was a weave, right? It's not a Ang Tani, so hanggang kailan ba tatagal itong mga pag-ulan natin? Matagal-tagal na rin, Mang Tani. May mga naninimaho na ng mga damit. Yes, Josie. Ah, Josie tuloy. <laughs> yes, June. Okay. De, June, yung ating uh, wind map, uh, <laughs> makikita natin yung tuloy-tuloy <clears throat> na paglakas ng hangi abagad. At ito ay dahil doon sa <clears throat> bagyong Josie. At hindi lang ngayong weekend, kundi ma maaring... <clears throat> Good morning to you. It's 5 o'clock right now on your Wednesday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. I mean, I'm Chris Wickin. Kate Merrill. That is Chris McKinnon, and it is a Wednesday, Danielle, because somebody needs to get some sleep. Wow. <laughs> that was the best TV, TV moments since I've been here at WBC. I've always wanted to be Kate. I texted that to Brianna uh, last night. I said, no, I want to be Kate no, Merrill. No, you don't. Someday. You don't. It's very complicated. You're much better off being you. I caught up with Chelsea and Michael, who were jogging by, and were nice to just stop for a quick second. And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet it's incredible though just to see even people still on their bicycles yeah, yeah. i don't know how they do it with the bikes like That's... braking at least we can control you know at worst case we can just slide right through a stop sign we've seen a lot of people out here like you said running sledding just enjoying it one thing oops that could happen unfortunately looks like chelsea's okay you okay 
Yes. OK. I'm going to have to jump into the water, actually. I'm going to be very careful because I've got this sound pack on. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud and James Guy, congratulations. Oh! Sorry, I didn't see the step. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's giving you all a good night. <laughs> Adam's inconsolable there. <laughs> Just look before you get in a swim pool in future, OK? I hope you can still hear me. I'm going to have to get rather close and mind the step. <laughs> can you continue, Sarah? Because we want to talk about your guy. You don't want to talk about me falling in the water. <laughs> but was, uh, everyone's all the people watching here are literally on the floor. And cats, they're not usually known for their love of swimming, but one feline in northern Virginia is hitting the water instead of the gym in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. But with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the Old Town Pet Resort, <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> A professional instructor will take you for a three hour heart pounding lap ride. Uh, 190. <laughs> <laughs> a three lap ride. Three lap ride, thank you. Not a lap ride. <laughs> 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 you can leave them on the street. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, my God. So uh, you're going to do a spoken word for us now, right? Right. And uh, tell us what we're about to hear. It's just a freestyle. Okay. I'm just going to think it up as freestyle. I Freestyle. Well, let me sit back. Go ahead, Marshall. Okay. Years ago, they tried to... Years ago, they tried to put me in the... Uh, this is a lie. Mm -hmm. Did you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. Anytime, hey, uh, Jake, Jake is our, uh, our producer upstairs, and um, that was fun, Jake. Josh is our director. Anytime you guys want to re a man swang swang <laughs> and just roll that, like literally, I don't care. It can, whenever you want to roll that in the show. <laughs> God, Listen, you guys are the best. Bob, this is Bob is going to aspire to this now. See, because Bob, I think you could do this. I think I could. I, I think with practice you could do that. Swang, swang. And then I will start calling you swang. Exactly. <laughs>